Winwing's Christmas sale starts December 21st. Hello valued viewers, I hope you're all doing very well. Time for our next naval video, request 52, Flight of Hornets versus Bismarck. Spelt wrong. <laughs> okay. May 1941, the Bismarck was out in the North Sea with Prince Eugen and they were merchant raiding when the Royal Navy found and destroyed her. It took thousands of Royal Navy crewmen to do this and literally thousands were lost doing it as well. I think about 2,000 went down with the battle cruiser hood. So at a vast cost, tens, maybe even hundreds of aircraft involved in hunting these guys down. Finally, they did it uh, west of Brest here, as you can see, they were finally taken down. Could it have been done by just a very small contingent of modern aircraft? How about, let's say, four FA-18C Legacy Hornets. Um, I don't know, but we're going to try and find out today. With our more modern technology, we are going to intercept them not near Greenland, but instead up here at the uppermost of their travel, above the Faroe Islands by about 500 miles. And here's our simulation. Very simple. Faroe Islands, go north 500 miles. You'll find the Bismarck and the Prince Oisian. The Bismarck was, of course, a fast battleship and very feared at the time. Could have done a lot of damage in the Atlantic merchant convoys, so it absolutely had to be sunk. We've sailed north on our aircraft carrier 130 nautical miles from the Bismarck and Prince Oisian. We're going to launch our aircraft. We need to do two things. One, find them, and two, destroy them. We've got to figure out how we're going to do that. Now, this leads me to a complaint. Lots of these tests we do and we're unsuccessful. And then you guys, the valued viewers, have a bit of a meltdown and say, why didn't you practice this? You should have practiced this, done it perfectly. No, we are here to test what works and what doesn't work. That's the fun that I gain from this. Testing, does this anti-missile work? Does this bomb work? And that's what I like to do live so that's what we're going to do here guys so weapons let's discuss which weapons we're going to use now in an idle world i think we would fly above them at twenty thousand feet where we would be impervious to fire and drop laser guided bombs big penetrating gbu 24s massive warheads compared to any type of anti-shipping weapon that we can carry and would almost certainly sink them however in the simulation and in real life it's not possible it's terrible weather out there this is the north sea high winds and almost always fog and cloud cover. Even a modern aircraft with a modern teapot can't look through clouds, so not possible. What's our next best bet? I guess we go out with AGM-84D harpoons, launch them at 70 miles and see if they do any damage. Are they gonna do any damage against battleships with these huge armored belts, like up to 18 inches? Maybe not these ships, but some ships in World War II, 18 inch armor belts. Okay. We can certainly try it. Can we go out on a first run with harpoons, launch 16 harpoons between us, on RBL mode, let them impact, yep. assess the damage. We'll just cheat, we'll just use F10 mode because you know we've got limited time to do this. If they've not done enough damage, then we can go out with Mark 84s. That way we can test both theories. Does the F18 carry a specific bunker buster? Yeah, it has a GB24, but you can't use it at its required altitude because it'll be above the clouds. You'll never hit anything. You can't accelerate it into the deck. You can try, guys. You can try. I've never personally tried it, but you're welcome. I might just take Mark 84s because they're going to be just simplest, simplest and simple in difficult conditions, which these will be. You're going to be flying in, you know, 40 knot winds, probably. Simple's probably going to be the best. Mavericks would work, but I don't think they would do enough damage. It's like a 50 kilo warhead or something on a Maverick. I forget exactly. The now. E is better. It's got a much bigger warhead in it, but then That's you're going to have to laser guide it in. Yeah, I mean, hitting with unguided bombs, bearing in mind we've got massive winds and they may dodge. They've got a new code in DCS, so when they attack, they dodge. Hitting with Mark 84s. Then again, it's a big battleship. Oh, I just don't know, guys. Why don't we go and do the harpoon attack, come back, land if we can in the wind, and then discuss what we're going to do next. And maybe we'll even change things. That'll work. Sounds excellent. We'll find it with our... We'll bring a T thermal imaging T-pod and we'll bring our air-to-ground radar. So we should be able to find it. Stand by. Okay, we're just getting our guys set up. As you can see, the atrocious weather. Part of these videos that we do are not just to see if you can do these things, but they also give you an impression of what it would have been like in real life. Now, being out here in our Hornets in these terrible weather is a brave thing to do. We're not in massive amounts of danger. These are very reliable aircraft with redundant engines and whatnot. Very unlikely we'd have to ditch in that sea. But imagine in... 1940s out here in open top swordfish with single piston unreliable engines and you could easily lose your aircraft and in fact let me get you a feel let me open my canopy if i can what it sounds like out here 
And if you ditch, then in the North Sea, you're dead within, I don't know, 30 seconds, 60 seconds. The chance of, uh, in a World War II aircraft, the chance of you being rescued is basically zero. As you see, visibility fog is terrible, as it was in real life. Clouds are patchy, as they were in real life. Real nasty place to be, and a massive uh, heroism to anyone, to sailors, everything, everyone was out here. Um, and it was a nasty time. Right, I've got Simba here. We're going with our harpoons, our teapods, first of all. Right, let's get the jet set up as well. Last run now, because why not? I'm going to get my date link on, because why not? I just I. I'm going to get my lights on. I'm going to get my HMD on. I'm going to get this on, that on, that on. I think that's set up. Ready checks, boys. Simba ready. Sock ready. Mm, three's not on the book. They've been called forward. Push forward. Still have sock. Sorry, getting put on the shuttle. That's fine. Guys, I'm going to launch then and get in a left orbit where you can catch me up. All right, Bismarck. We are coming to get you. Oh, that wind, that wind. Oh, it's been a, oh, oh. Imagine being a swordfish and doing this, it's mental. All right, head to ground on, zip. Get my harpoons warmed up and ready. And wait. Let me know when you're airborne, guys. Two and three are airborne. Four is now getting further direction. Alright Gary, uh, keep going straight ahead, I'm going to pass over your left shoulder shortly and you can just catch us up. Okay, right. Yeah. What's your speed cap? Uh, well, I'm going to be buzzing past you at over 400. Okay. We're getting massive push to the left, so navigation wise we're getting a massive push. Right Valley viewers, we're going to probably skip about 50 miles in video where, and then we're going to turn our radars on and start looking for them. Hey guys, let's get this ting done. So I am going to go to C mode. Are you in air to ground mode already? Uh, check. 90 degrees, 80 miles. I'm not seeing anything yet. I'm just guessing that we're just simply not in range yet. Let's also get a bit of altitude. I'm probably going to stay. I mean, we could go. The radar will go through the clouds. We could go above or below, but. Anyone got any contacts on the AG radar? Negative. Negative. Directions, we're all scanning the same way. But... Okay, we know it's roughly north, so keep roughly north, <coughs> but, um, but change your azimuth slightly. I'm going to say on about 320, 330, it's just my best guess. But then, I mean, imagine how hard this must have been for swordfish. No air to ground radar and swordfish, boys. Okay, so we've got a uh, yardstick tack and we can use that for ranging if we want to break out to certain. Copy, Tally. Oh! You're gonna have to climb. You found it. Right, climbing. Hey, firm. Oh, what is it? Earth curvature or something? Right, okay, gotcha. Yep, it's my battle. What else should you? Hi. But, uh, Roughly bro. heading 352. Oh. I see it. I was way off course. Tally. I was, I was so far off course. That shows how hard it okay, is out here. Guys, five, I got it on due north. Six, I got it on due north, guys. So you system select. So we'll set select to the radar and then press it right again to bug. Roger, I've uh, I've got them locked to 64 miles. Uh, where do you want to fire at? Say 50, 50 miles, guys. Uh, we'll tell you when you're in range. Oh, so well, go that's... through all your harm. You're going to need to set RBL individually on each pylon. Yeah, that's annoying, isn't it? And then you're going to want to change your flight mode if you wish. Right, sort it out now. Right, I am RBL on all everything now. Likewise, um, I'll go medium. I mean, I, I don't imagine it's going to shoot all these down with its guns, but the spread's always. I'm actually going to go um, terminal pop up, so I want to try and avoid the armor belts, but maybe you guys just say skim, we'll see what happens. No, that's a good plan. Uh, do you want to launch them now, or should we get a bit closer? What's better for the video? We'll do it at 50 miles, guys. I'm very much in the clouds right now. I'm at 16,000 in between the cloud layers. 
They'll never see it coming. Mm -hmm. In range, Captain yep. Range, 51 miles, preparing to fire. It was simultaneous launch for time on target, obviously. Oh, wow, but the clouds now, brilliant. Guys will be firing on. Three, two, one, ripple. Bruiser time 16. Bruiser time 16. Radar. Uh, Bismarck does have radar, but it's not. It may not show up on your RWR. And no, I'm just wondering if those guys are about to get busy. Very possible. I'm going to set the course for home, guys, and get my autopilot on, and then I'm going to watch. Everyone back to base now. Land at will. Okay, the missiles are on their way. They've got a long way to go. 36 miles. Traveling out to about 5,000 feet. So due to the weather rule, we'll be doing a perfect case too, yeah? Mm-hmm. Perfect is the key word. Probably perfect SOP, I imagine. Well, I'll, I'll apologize in advance for my case one. 23 miles. Okay, so it looks like the uh, course of the ship will be approximately 340. Above the ship now going into a lazy orbit. Cap's gonna, uh, co Sock's gonna enter the stack at 3,000. Wait for clearance. Okay, here we go, guys. 16 bruisers. Mm, not quite time on target, but the best we could get, uh, realistically. Uh, 11 miles and closing. Let's see if we've gone terminal. Missiles are terminal. They do have a radar lock, and they are going for... Ships, which I still can't see even at 10 miles. Oh, the ships are firing. The ships are firing. Not sure that's realistic, but they are certainly firing. I think. Looks like they're going. Uh, ignoring the Prince George and going for the Bismarck. Happy with that? Still can't see the actual ships. I'll let you go out today. Sock starting initial. Tally Bismarck, pop up going in. Yes, you could not ask for better. Ignore the print oil print origin. Going for Bismarck. And hit. Amidships! And we're just blowing a great big section of the midships down. Right, now we're cooking on gas, guys. Another hit midships. Damage, 14%. 28%? Wow, this is going worryingly well. Right, we still got more missiles coming in. More missiles coming in. I've lost track on it. I've lost, in all the excitement, I've lost track on it. Where has it gone? There it is! There it is! She's sinking! The Bismarck is friggin' sinking! How does anyone... I mean, it got a bit confusing with what was going on there. Did anyone see how many shots it took to took her down? Uh, when my fourth one hit, it's... So I hit at 41, wow. 69, 80-something, and then the kill. Four harpoons is all it takes to, to take a uh, Bismarck down. Fast battleship. I'm really surprised by that, guys. I really thought that would have beaten off probably 20 harpoons. Bearing in mind, they're only a 200 pound warhead. It's not a big warhead in there. I would have thought they would just hit the armor belt and just fail. But look, bottom of the North Sea goes to Bismarck. Again. Oh, we'll watch her go stoically down. Prince Oikin's getting hit now, guys. down. Bismarck's gone. Uh, that was a lot easier. I was expecting this to be one of these missions where we have to try like a million different things before it worked. But it turns out one Hornet can actually take down Bismarck. The question for you guys to answer is, is that realistic? Could four Harpoons really have taken down a battleship carrying 2,000 guys? I don't know. What are your thoughts on that, guys? Yeah, I mean, the modern, it's a, it's a modern missile with warhead with 
impact speed and socks down explosives so yeah it's got explosives in it simba all right all right well you know integral uh, part of any warhead i'm not convinced guys you know why i'm not convinced because shells from the hood are uh, much bigger and had more explosives in them than these agm84s and yet four shells unless they hit a magazine wouldn't blow up the bismarck i'm not convinced I'm not convinced. Let me know what you think, Valley viewers. I don't think four harpoons and midships would take would sink a battleship. Well, it wouldn't sink it. it. I can tell you that right now. Obviously, it wouldn't. But when the health bar goes down, then they just sink in DCS to clear up the map. But would it put it out of action? I don't know. I really don't know. I'm not convinced. There's, there's small warheads in these things. Big fire, yes. Out of action, not sure. Is it just me, or does anyone else get scared when GR completes a mission really easily and well? I got scared. Well, two of us left in the server haven't landed yet, so... Yeah, I actually did a nice landing in that 40 knot cross. Did my missiles actually get anything, or did they just go off? Um, no, it, only the first four missiles hit and everything. The others are literally still spinning around the target. Oh no, they're gone now. They just gave up in the end. Look at Sock showing off with his little black outfit in this fog. Come on, Simba, everyone wants to see you do well. Simba! Well done, guys. Good job! Right, I can't be bothered to land because I want to go and put the video together. I hope you enjoyed that, Valued viewers. We'll see you later!